Well, howdy, boys and girls. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Well, I'm in Tulsa, fixing to go into a little record store here that I like. Haven't been here in a long time. I never came around the right time of day to catch them open. So anyway, I'm going to go in, start looking, yada, 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 maybe spend some money. I hope so. And then I got to go clear across the state and go hit a bunch of, uh, bunch of records that I need to go look at in Texas. So we'll see if time works for me here. <laughs> Wish me luck. Huh, a lot of rough shaped soul. R and B. What what what? Get that. What is that? I've got to play that. I bet it's not good. It just looks good though. Youth pliers are generally not something I can do anything with. Selling lies anyway. David Gates. Oh, baby, that's decent. I never find it in good shape anyway. No way. Wow. Buddy Holly's first record, Slight Edge Warp. It's got a tiny, tiny crack. Well, I think these are a dollar each, so I'm happy. I will pick it up anyway. I don't care if it's got a crack. Somebody will want it. Alright. Buddy Holly again. Off to a flying start. Down two for sure. One maybe. battery conservation mode here. I'll alert you if anything else good comes up. Maybe. Oh. Alright, ran short of time, but I've got one Warren David Gates, which is a rocker. Good rocker. And then I've got Buddy Holly's first record that would be in okay shape. It's got a little edge crack. The thing is, I've had people tell me, oh no, I'd never buy a record with a crack. Well, I bought a Ray Campy recently for 49 cents maybe or a quarter. And it had a crack, but it played beautifully and it cleaned up very well. Well, I sold it for like 70 bucks. So I'm thinking, if you don't want $70 in your pocket, you just go proceed and do what you're doing. As for me, I'll make money. And it's fun to do it that way. I get a kick out of it. But now I've got to run, run, run on down south and go look at 78s. So I'll probably see you in about four hours. Maybe earlier if I see something else to stop at. But it better look good because I might run out of time. Oh, and I'll be sure to come back to this place. I just don't have the time to go through everything. But I did a quick spot check. Sometimes I have to do that. Further on down the road now. Well, all right. It's about three hours later. I'm about half an hour tops from my next place I'm going. It's a warehouse <clears throat> just across the Red River. And whenever you leave Oklahoma and go back into Texas, you got to run through the dip that they put you through to make sure they kill all the bugs and such that you'll pick up in Oklahoma. And uh, always make sure they get the top of your head too because they'll hide up there. But anyway, once I get through and deloused and granted entry back into the Lone Star State, then I'm going to go to this warehouse and look at, I think, 30 boxes of 78s. Now, he says it's a lot of country twang music. That perks me ears up. Doug Poindexter on Sun, he had quite a twang to his voice. I'm hoping for stuff like that. Probably not going to see anything like that. That's just the law of averages. But I never studied law, you know? So, it don't apply to me. 
Well, I've made it to where I need to be, and this place is incredible, even more incredible than where I was yesterday. It is other uh, treasure trove of stuff. This is just amazing. And there's a bunch of 78s here somewhere. I've already seen some stuff that set me to lusting. Look at that, old Ampex machines, I guess. 60s models or so i don't know i know i'd like to have one take that bad boy down to buenos aires for with me oh yeah i'm moving down there thought i'd tell you that get that old sansui man those are beautiful that take up reel there just real pretty looking take up reel just gets me thinking in pure thoughts Man, this is some pretty stuff. Ooh, ooh, look at the Q Master. Oh man, by Q Master, I'm not talking about any weird conspiracy crap. I mean, look at that transcription turntable. Me likey, me, me want. Let's see what the box holds. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oof, Bing Crosby. Oof, Bing Crosby. All right. Uh, got Lombardo, Wayne King, and then we got some possible generic records hiding in there. What was that? No. No, no. Digging that jam. I really am, too. That's a refreshing thing to hear. We normally you'll hear thump thump or contemporary Christian or some such like that. 78 albums, papers to sort. Airbox 78's right there. boxes are moving too easy to be records let's go back from whence we came never seen a repository of cool stuff like this or at least it's been a long long time oh cool one of the home juke boxes yeah i have a few of those wow that was working man Ooh. oh fortunately that wasn't metal getting me in the back it was fiberboard 78s. Come on, Doug Poindexter. There's Carl Smith. Red Ingle. We got some twang going with Billy Haley. Broken. Green Krupa. Well, we didn't find the 78s, but I'll come back when they are found. Things got moved around last week. And they're here and I'll come back not a problem well I'm having fun uh, like I say I didn't find any of the records that were supposed to be there they've been moved I'm going back and getting them at some point or at least looking through them may pick me up some nice vintage electronic village vintage electronic goodies as well an old Ampex tape machine something like that but anyway highway 35 shut down I mean jackknife trailer yada 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 everybody freaking out so i'm taking back roads and i don't even think i've ever been on this road in my life so i'm rather enjoying myself too bad it's too late for any junk stores to be open that i could encounter but anyway one does what one must when the devil vomits in your kettle or something like that Continue heard that on black adder i think back in the 80s anyway heading back to the house I'll tie on the feedback, enjoy, and uh, hopefully there won't be any more wrecks up ahead to slow me down. I'm only on mile 630 on this trip, about another 80 miles to go. So uh, I'll catch you folks later. I found two decent records today. Saw a lot of cool stuff. I guess today was more of a recon trip, but I'll come back and lay waste to the territory. Y'all be good.